painted column. I said modern. As if, I said modern. Yeah. I know. I'm not. I look, I'm not looking for what's the name to live in Valencia. But, but yeah, I know. But t- take take the the traditional uh, Saudi style and modernize it. That's uh, that's what a lot of people are doing right now. That's what a lot of people do. Yeah. That's what uh, Dria. That's what they're doing over there. They have like their own code of building right now when it comes to residential. If you're gonna build any house over there. Uh, you have to comply with their code, which is um, very uh, strict when it, when it comes to style. Like you can't just put up a, a French looking uh, house over there. No, it has to be, it has to have a hint of tradition. It has to relate to a as a as You know what's the area. problem with that? What? Is that one person is going to design something good and then everybody that's next to him is going to copy it. Then it's gonna look just like the same all the way down. Well, that's the thing. That's why they have those those. Do they have a committee? They have a they have a they have parameters. I don't know about committee. They have parameters to what and what you can and can't implement when it comes to the design. Uh, one major factor is I think they removed uh, the idea of uh, a fence like around oh, the house. Nice. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, they play it around with um, uh, the space, as in I think. The left side of your house has to be flat with no windows, but on the right side you you have to have some sort of courtyard, so you ha- you can have that traditional. So if two houses are next to each other, they're like back to back. Basically, yeah. Okay. You can have that outdoor space, but you don't have to uh, get worried about your neighbors speaking in. So you don't have to install like a huge wall yeah. at the top. Yes, I've seen that a lot. Yeah, that's what they're trying to avoid. And this I is why I want an L shape in a certain property where the L of the property is facing the street. So I won't have a problem with neighbors exactly. speaking in. Yeah, but you're still going to have people at the street looking into your like uh, top well, floor Well, yeah, windows, without a fence, yes. Top floor windows. Uh, but, top floor windows is not a problem. Bedrooms. They can see me naked. Okay, fair it's enough. It's all good. Their treat. Their treat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like this, I've never worked on. And you're going to enjoy. <laughs> Look at how tender I be. <laughs> Don't say tender. <laughs> Don't say tender. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're an sorry. asshole. All right. Uh, anyway. Keep going. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Where was I going? Oh. The, the whole idea of a courtyard, dude. That's 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 tradition. That's what we uh, had like in the olden days. This is my first time using the word olden days. Olden, but, yeah. The golden days. The golden days. Uh, like so, you. I, I love the whole. I think it's in uh, Syria when it's like a square. Yeah. With a courtyard you, in the center. You have the the water feature in the middle. Yes. Giving you cooling and uh, sound, ambient sound that really like drowns out the outside sounds. Plus you have, I forgot the name. I think all my architects are going to hate me for the for forgetting the specific word. But where you have that square right there in the middle, uh, you have like uh, four squares coming out of it. So you have rooms in the corners, but openings on the, on the, on the like... Uh, Freaking, uh, what do you Entrances, yeah, anyway. No, uh, sitting areas. Okay. Basically. So here's a question. So when they designed it, is it like a one, that's one full house? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah. So you have like the circulation up, up upstairs is going around that courtyard. So you walk, you walk out of your room, you can look into the, uh, the, the space in the middle, which creates a really nice vibe. I feel like that's, that's cool. But it feels like, an- <laughs> excuse me. Plus it's all out- outdoors. So that's, that's a huge issue. That's, but it does, doesn't work here, though. Uh, um, that's a problem. Uh, having it all our, that style, that Syrian style, does, I don't think works here because uh, you don't want to be outside uh, for the like. That's my point. Most of the year. Yes. But the, <laughs> but the idea of having a courtyard that is to the side where you have all your uh, living spaces indoors, but you have access to this outdoor space. I think that's what we need because you will really enjoy the outdoor space once once the weather like becomes like as if as it is right now so like from like mid-november until april yeah which is a huge chunk is, of yeah, yeah exactly it's yeah, a great exactly. weather yeah so you, you can actually enjoy it and you can actually have people over and the idea of having ha- having like houses without any uh, uh fences around them i think is really gonna change create, yeah, yeah it's gonna create a suburb vibe it's gonna create like neighborly it's gonna remove the whole idea of uh being private yes because we're very, very, very private. Not private, secluded. Secluded. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'll go yeah. with that one. I'll go yeah. with that one. Because we do feel secluded. I, yes. I don't know who my parents. I mean, I mean, the only uh, neighbors I know of are my my cousins and uncles. 
Other than that, I don't know anyone. <laughs> and they're on the other side of the street. Yeah, basically, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> anyone else in the neighborhood? I don't know them. Yeah. I don't know. See, I think removing fences is a good idea uh, for us to be more open with each other. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. Um, I don't know how they're going to implement it, though. That's why they have, uh, they, they required that each house has its own uh, yeah, outdoor but, but space. That, but that's a but one it, area. But it's not, it's, um, what do you mean one area? So that's... Uh, uh, yeah, but that's a start. That's that's checking how the community is going to vibe with this. How how they're going to... Are they going to accept this? Are they not going to accept this? Is it going to be comfortable for them? Is how it gonna, is it going to change? How is it going to look exactly. like? Is it only going to be comfortable for a specific segment of the community? You, you don't know. But the beautiful part about this, and they removed the fence. So that kind of... That might bother... It lowers a lot. your guard a little bit. Uh, now, it might bother a lot of people that really value privacy. But they required you to have that. Oh, careful! That that required you to have that um, uh, outdoor space in a, in a in an area where you don't have to worry about people from the street peeking in, because like a suburb. Exactly. The only yeah. people it's, around it's, you is it, your neighbors. It's basically like a backyard. You have that outdoor space, and you don't really worry about your neighbors looking in because literally nobody has windows that overlook your uh, your outdoor space, your backyard, basically.